This is Crypto Core Radio, discussing the ideas, people, and projects building the new digital economy. Get the latest on blockchain technology and cryptocurrency updates with your host, Lutz. Hello and welcome to Core Radio. This is Lutz coming to you live with a judgment show. Hey, I'm Stanislav Stanta from Moscow, from Darchin Project. Uh, we have rainfall uh, this night, great rainfall with lightning, uh, thunder, uh, so very cold. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> He's very eager to get going. <laughs> so, okay. so let's. Uh, so, what, what is your name? What, I, I call you Darf, but, but what is it? What, <laughs> what is the name of my pro project? My name is Stanislav Osten. Nice. Sounds like you're, you're from Russia? Yes, I do. All right. uh, but we, we, we have not only Russian team. Our programmers is from Ukraine uh, and so, 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 so some people in Canada. Uh, one man in Canada. One man is at, uh, all uh, ears of is uh, let's discuss later about it okay your that your team is from all over the place very cool okay. all right i yeah i looked into your project very 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 cool i, <laughs> I had you. some time with it uh it's definitely needed uh you know a lot of uh you know garbage icos coming out and you know someone needs to uh you know uh -huh. sort them yeah. out you know and make people feel safe uh so tell us a little bit about yourself uh okay uh uh, I am technical entrepreneur since 1997. Uh, I, I first uh, my business is a web study uh, that I find in 1999 with partners, and uh, later we make uh, a dating SMS service which uh, have near two million users in Russia. Uh, so, so, so some words about my partners, about my team, uh, Konstantin Bakulev. Uh, is my partner, my friend, uh, over uh, several years. Uh, he is philosopher, economist, politologist. Uh, he was an advisor of some Russian ministries and a citizen of members of Parliament of Russia. Uh, so, so we are in crypto from uh, 2014, uh, and we start well, a project with Constantine, uh, Sura Exchange uh, is, was a credit exchange of mutual guarantees on blockchain. Uh, it's a real ahead of the time this time because it's smart contracts with development on this time, so it's not uh, goes to the moon. <laughs> so, of course, loads. Okay, very cool, very cool, and uh, so. Uh, are there are there any uh you know you have a team uh you know and friends are great team members you know if you work well together that's a it's a it's a good uh good relationship to have uh so any any advisors helping you on the project before we before you you tell us about it uh yes uh, we all very cool advisors we seen. Uh, so uh, our first advisor that uh, helped us in development of the project uh, very great uh, is Pavel Rubadevsky. Uh, it's a found he is a founder of Chrono Pay uh, international payment system. So <laughs> he really legendary businessman in Russia, and everybody knows him. Uh, he fight with FSB. He fight with a Kaspersky laboratory. Uh, so he fight with spam. <laughs> very great person you can it's really like russian ascent uh, twice imprisoned by first bear uh, but uh, he is a participator of cnn new york times uh, writers uh, ask him about interviews and uh, new york times uh, in books uh, that calls spam nations uh, said uh, that he is one of the 
roles cyber crime expert <laughs> so it was he was uh, his number first uh, advisor of our project uh, so Anatoly Semyonov, he's a representative in the sphere of okay. digital. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. it's yeah. good to have a security expert on the on the team. Very 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 yeah. good to have an advisor that knows that stuff. A great expert in security, in finance, in international payments. Uh, he's really uh, push our project in future with great power. Cool. Uh, how, how long have you been in crypto? Have you worked on any other uh, blockchain projects? Uh, yes, our first blockchain project is uh, 2014. It was a credit exchange of mutual guarantees in, on blockchain, Shure Exchange it's called. Uh, but it not start well. Uh, we have technical problems with smart contracts in blockchain uh, of Bitcoin. Uh, so <laughs> in that time, there are no smart contracts really, like in Ethereum uh, right now. Uh, that's why this project uh, don't collect uh, money for development. Okay, uh, you know, from the, uh, Satoshi's original plan, uh, Bitcoin already had smart contracts in it. So Ethereum, yeah. you know, it never, never really did anything new. The ability was always there. Uh, you know, people just had to learn how to use it and, you know, build on okay. it. Okay. So, uh, so does, uh, does Darth have a, uh, a team and, and tell me more about them and what are their skills in, oh, you, you told me, you told me about most of the team, right? Uh, most of the team, really, maybe we are most of the team. Uh, so, so uh, our core team is Sergei Stepanets. Uh, he is from Ukraine. Uh, he, he is a great uh, expert in ERP system, in open, open source ERP system like. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm I'm oh, very familiar with those those systems. FYI, uh, yeah. SAP, JD Edwards. Uh, no, we are specialized in Python. Uh, if you talk about language of programming, I am right. Uh, I am a Python programmer since the uh, beginning of uh, uh, millennium. Uh, okay. Sergey too. Uh, so uh, Kirill Rybakov is our young specialist. Uh, he specializes in front end and he studies solidity for developing smart contracts. Alexandra Shakirova, uh, our designer, uh, he. Uh, uh, so, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no rush, buddy. We, Take we, your time. We have near midnight, and they have very hard day. Uh, uh, so, so <laughs> Kirova, she, she, she is a great designer. Uh, she invented our cube, our cubes with yellow and uh, dark gray cubes with uh, our like a type. Uh, and uh, Daniel Dashkevich, uh, he is uh, a community manager. We have experience in Venus project, in Open Ecology project, so he work with our communities, our volunteers, uh, so really great guy. All right, well, sounds like you, you have a good team there. You have devs, you have a graphic design artists. Yeah, uh, Alexandra is our graphic designer. She, she, she's great. She's make our design. Very cool. So, uh, what does DARF mean? <laughs> oh, DARF. I mean, it's a, it's a <laughs> acronym. <laughs> what? what? What's what's the acronym stand for? Uh, distributed Accounting Resource and Finance System, uh, DARF chain uh, and in blockchain. Distributed Accounting Resource and Finance Systems in blockchain. Oh, and t tell us, tell us about what DARF does. What, what is, it, what is its purpose? Oh, DARF, DARF is a great idea, really. <laughs> DARF chain. <laughs> so, uh, the main idea of DARF is to bring uh, transparentness in uh, ICO projects uh, from one side, from one hand, and uh, to bring. Uh, 
for entrepreneurs uh, that uh, work in old style in real business uh, all advent to, to bring them all advantages of new digital economy uh, so non-banking financing for example uh, and uh, because we are all together go to a real new world and we have fun for it uh, we think that the customers uh, all all kind of customers uh, can use our system too because they uh, get transparency too uh, they can see all processes in business so they can really uh, on fingers uh, feel that product that product that products they are buy uh, so the main uh, aim of dark chain is uh, to bring transparency in this world <laughs> really so so t the the point of dark chain is to bring transparency for people investing correct from what i understand uh, uh, first step really uh, transparency for people who invest in, in iso projects but we uh, see in future uh, and uh, we means uh, we think that all part of businesses can use the system too okay uh so if uh, in I, if I, an ICO wanted to participate, how, how would they participate? Uh, sorry, ICO participate. If uh, well, okay, let, let's let's rephrase it. What are the benefits in using DARF for ICO participants? Yeah, entrepreneurs, okay, investors, okay, 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 consumers. Okay, uh, so the, main, so the main benefits is transparency uh, because now we uh, every day uh, every week see that million of dollars are uh, crowd funding uh, for ICO startups and uh, nobody know uh, which way uh, people in the startups uh, this money, this money spent. So, 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 so. Just a moment. I, I, I lose my thing. <laughs> myself. That's all right. Take your time. Uh -huh. It's, a, you know, you're using on your uh, team speak. Uh, you're using voice recognition in in the future. I, I always ask people to use the push to talk because it, it cuts you off when you're not talking, and it sounds like you keep you keep cutting out. Uh, okay, let's continue about transparency. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> we mean that ICO projects need to, to be more transparent, more analytical friendly for crowd investors, for uh, ICO participants. Uh, and we make instruments for it. Uh, we are currently working uh, on such great things that are full binding of business development driving projects with tests. Uh, so, what does it mean? Uh, it means that investors, crowd investors, can uh, write user stories, uh, like in, uh, oh, such as software development, uh, where they describe the, the business cases uh, in Gerchin language for newcomer. Uh, and after that, uh, if they vote for this story and they say, okay, uh, this story uh, put in the smart contract. And when the team make all features of uh, this product, of ICO project, that, uh, that satisfied this test, smart contract, will transfer salary to team members. So we want to build a system uh, that can control the development, uh, all stage development of ICO projects. Is it is it uh so the ICO when it's finished, do you guys still, you know, help that project out? And you know, because I heard you say salaries, you arrange, uh, th you know, third party contracts or uh, you know, smart contracts with salaries. Is it? Do, do you continue with them, or once the ICO is finished, your job is done? <laughs> no, 
when project become to market, our job is done. So when ICO finished, our jobs just start. Uh, so we want to uh, build system that can control all stages of uh, project, not only pre-ICO or ICO. It's just for crowdfunding, just money uh, collecting. Uh, after which, uh, teams uh, should work, and they should make any products, uh, at, and their products uh, should uh, come to markets. Uh, they uh, should uh, okay. sales. So all business, uh, all, all business states, all business setups uh, need to be controlled. Okay. Uh, so, from what I understand, you you guys, uh, from what I read, you guys will be implementing uh, you know software into already existing ERP software, right? Yes, we do. Yes, right. So, so, the ERP software that I know about, uh, one called SAP, used by very big companies. Uh, also, JD Edwards is another one used by very big companies. What type oh, of software? Right. What type of software do you guys plan on implementing your software on? Uh, you know, in in the SAP, uh, SAP works with modules, and the modules is called the NFI module. That's the finance module. Uh, you know, do you guys plan on? You know, what, what's your plans for User. for software? Oh. Oh. Hello. 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 It's uh, SAP. It's, uh, our programmer. Pro also use push to talk it's an option called push to talk inside the options so whenever you talk you press a button and you know nobody else hears you it's our Go, ahead. Go ahead, guys. Uh, take take your time okay. and, and fix that up. It looks like we have another guy on the show, fellas. He is uh, he, he's part of the team also. Very exciting. Uh, he he uh, he is Sergey, our lead developer, a Python expert, Odoo expert, and now he can uh, tell us about Odoo ERP system. Because really, rules. You're right to say it. Uh, that SAP is a great a big uh, system that can use on the very very huge companies like General Motors or Boeing. Uh, and very but, expensive system too. Yes, I know. I worked for a Fortune 30 company who used it. I worked with it all the time. Uh, it's, so, I was a network engineer for a Fortune <laughs> 30 company. I I know all about those. We 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 ended up from we went from JD Edwards to SAP. Uh, yeah, good good okay. timing. We we were just talking about the software, so I was just uh, about to ask, you know, what, what what's the plans for the software? How how will it work? You know, tell me about it. Okay, tell us about Odoo uh, benefits. Uh, about about Odoo system, it's ERP system, it's very popular system in Europe, really. Uh, it's open source uh, project. Mm, I know the system maybe maybe six maybe seven years and uh, i did many many projects in europe uh, at the state in virginia for example with this uh, with this system for accounting for uh, crm port and uh, for sale uh, and, and uh, some people use this uh, as a po for point of sale in uh, in the shop in the supermarket. Odoo. 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 I, I saw I saw a video that you guys made on uh, you know when I was researching. Is that the same one? On your on your uh, on YouTube? Yes, yes. You're right. It's a key uh, made. So what what could Odoo do you know what could Odoo do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do do great, <laughs> great, great scene. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, we have uh, in this video uh, have a waves platform, uh, like a platform for 
uh, currency exchange, uh, maybe storage is some very important information about uh, about the, the reuse. Uh, oh, line, hold on a second, but you, you're cutting out. And uh, we we save uh, important information about our transaction uh, in Waves platform uh, and uh, our later sale order, for example. We have in game database something something like a middle solution between a blockchain system and no SQL database and in other system we read uh, uh, the security information from base platform and uh, <clears throat> accordingly to this information we take uh, our sale order from no scale database. Yeah, I, I didn't understand the word you said there, buddy. Uh, so it, it's you're you're not coming in clearly. I don't. So, so tell me about ERP. Let's try again. Uh, uh, tell me about Odoo and what it could do. Uh, about to do about this example which uh, we did, uh, or about uh, this uh, system generally. Yeah, the, the example I saw on YouTube. So what what's that about? Uh, Odoo is an ERP system uh, based on Python language and uh, PostgreSQL database. Uh, and uh, in, in Europe, it is this very popular system, and uh, I know this system six or seven years and uh, had many projects uh, in, in Europe in this system. Uh, it, uh, it has uh, accounting, uh, it has uh, CRM and uh, mm, some, some sort of product storage, inventory, mm, everything that uh, ERP system must have. Gotcha. So it's like an open source uh, SAP or, or JD Edwards, right? Really yes. Right. Yes. The author of this uh, Odoo system uh, it's uh, the main main goal of this system is was something like an alternative uh, uh, to uh, CAP system in Europe. Okay, very cool. So, so how do okay. you? Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, in in the world, in, in the world, uh, the system uh, has uh, two million customers, and uh, it has. Uh, open source version and has uh, uh, enterprise version with some difference of course uh, some mm, more uh, spread functionality something like that okay sergey describe about our experiment so it's we really we make a proof of concept which uh, uh, near which uh, over blockchain a big blockchain DB, we can uh, transfer ERP data. Uh, I, I hear uh, a noise. Uh, uh, that, that's okay. Let, let, let him keep it continuous because, you know, at, at least we could hear his answers. So, so Sergey, uh, so, Sergey, how do you plan to use Odoo with your project? Uh, yes, I can uh, describe this experiment. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, I want to start from beginning. The block, blockchain uh, technology, the algorithm of blockchain, uh, really is the biggest problem. Uh, that is, uh, algorithm is uh, first is slow, and uh, second problem that is not appropriate for big data. And um, in our case, uh, we use uh, Waves platform for. Uh, as a storage for uh, uh, um, uh, the key data, uh, something what like uh, timestamps yes, for the, uh, the transaction of uh, uh, key key data of uh, our business transaction. In what this for uh, hash of transaction. Okay. Hello. Okay. Continue, okay. Continue. Yeah, let, 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 let him talk and then, you know, we'll each have yes. a turn. Yes. And uh, mm, we use uh, Waves uh, platform for this uh, part of the transaction. For 
transaction uh, data, essentially data. Uh, we use a big chain database, it's something like a middleway between uh, blockchain and uh, NoSQL. So this blockchain with NoSQL uh, functionality. And uh, in this, this way, we have, uh, uh, we have a way to you know, the transaction uh, financial part of our business uh, flow and uh, transaction of uh, data uh, of our sale order, for example. And we, uh, uh, we can um, synchronize, uh, uh, synchronize uh, sale order in, in, in one uh, ERP system to other ERP, ERP system and uh, it um, it was in that way that uh, uh, this transaction is not possible without a transaction in blockchain uh, database in the way platform in this case. Gotcha. Uh, so, uh, sir, sir, what what is your proficiencies? What what are you you know what what is your expertise? Uh, um, I'm programmer, and uh, I have uh, 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 economic education, uh, accounting, accounting systems. How many okay. years are you in programming? Uh, five or six, maybe something <laughs> like that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I, I'm but, just... but, but as uh, system pro uh, system programmer is uh, I, I talked about uh, ERP system uh, about a system programmer from 1995. Right, and uh, companies have been using these type of systems for a very long time, less 30, 40 years now. Uh, so let's uh, let, let's. Do you guys have a community? Is there you know like a Slack that you guys have? Any type uh, of community we could speak of? So, 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 so uh, I have I, I listen on noise again. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so uh, Sergey, could could you shut off your mic for a second? Okay. Uh, so so uh, yes, we start to, to develop uh, our Slack community, but most we are work in Twitter, in Facebook, and uh, in Telegram uh, channel. Uh, so, so sorry, in Telegram group. Uh, our Slack community is not very developed. Uh, but in Twitter we have all near 100 subscribers, uh, and I can more positionally say the Twitter Twitter.com. We have 213 subscribers. Oh, very so, cool. Okay, and and you yeah, have a YouTube channel, right? A real is not very cool, but we are in growth. Uh, in YouTube, Twitter is very popular. <laughs> not right now, but in future, really. In YouTube, we have uh, we started uh, near two weeks ago uh, uh, real uh, videos. And now near ten or, or fifteen subscribers. I need to check. Uh, I need to check, and I see. And I see, oh, 22 subscribers. <laughs> we start only uh, several days ago uh, at the first, uh, at the first of, of August, we start a video channel. Close. Okay, that's good. Uh, so tell me about the ICO. How, how will it be structured? Uh, uh, did you mean about uh, uh, ISO prices and the timing? Uh, benefits in ICO, what did you mean? What do you mean? Uh, so ICOs are structured uh, in different ways. You know, some people have phases, you know, where there's a pre-sale, you know, for higher risk uh, investors. Oh. You know, is there is there a bonus period? You know, uh, if people okay, get in okay. early, you know uh, what I'm saying? 
uh, I catch. Uh, so yes, we started uh, pre-sale actually first of August. Uh, now we uh, come to finish of pre-sale, and for a few days we are closed. We uh, collect some money. Uh, it uh, it is in enough to development, uh, enough for various development. Now we think about uh, Ethereum uh, version of our system uh, about connection to Ethereum. Uh, so, so the main part of ICO will begin uh, at first of November uh, and continue near uh, 32 days because 42 is the real answer for all questions. <laughs> and okay. uh, uh, ideally, at the first time, we uh, offer discounts for, uh, for investors, 25% uh, uh, next week, 20%. Uh, so it's all in our white paper. Anyone who interested can uh, read this. Okay. Is it, okay. Well, it, listen. I, I just asked the questions. The way you answer them is, you know, how how people will hear you. So, so you you have a you have a pre ICO sale. When, when does this start? Uh, pre ICO was start on the first of August. First uh, of August. 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 Really. <laughs> I I, I clear speak. Okay. So the first of August it starts and. and uh, is and, there any now any benefit at the moment? Uh, yes, when we start, we offer uh, over fifteen persons, fifty persons of discounts, and we g get our first investors, first uh, crowd ones, who uh, give us uh, various uh, bitcoins, and we can start real marketing. Uh, we can uh, make uh, make uh, we can make prototype. But uh, Sergey described some time, times earlier. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's not let's, let's uh, not get Sergey on his his microphone. I don't know. Something's very bad. Uh, so let's uh, what tell tell me a little bit more about the project because I, I still I I understand it because I researched it, but you know I, I want the crowd to understand what it's about. Can can you give us another example of you know how it will work and what it's about. Uh, so uh, at the first time uh, we uh, tell about c control of ISO startups. So uh, every uh, everybody uh, crowd investors. Uh, so first step, first step, uh, crowd investors uh, should say to teams, "Oh, guys, you should be transparent." We want to see every Satoshi that you are spent. And so, uh, like in uh, old type business, investors say to uh, startups. And if a uh, team want to be uh, more transparently, if uh, it, uh, if they uh, want to have more uh, uh, with investors, uh, more close uh, relationship with uh, crowd investors. Uh, they uh, need to uh, download and uh, install our system. It's it, it not very difficult. It's like install a website on uh, your, your server. So really, Odoo system is uh, like a website, it, internet website. And after that, uh, they make an address in a blockchain. Uh, we now connect to Waves blockchain. Uh, that uh, and uh, systems that Sergey developed uh, and I invent uh, systems uh, uh, write any ten, uh, hash of any transaction to this address. So the, another uh, computer, another server uh, like uh, investor server or auditor server uh, can uh, read these transactions from this address, uh, decipher it. Uh, decompile it and build an analytical uh, uh, reports. Uh, uh, it, it may be uh, financial reports, accounting reports, material reports, or uh, time sheets uh, by members reports, or maybe it's really be an OLAP cubes 
uh, uh, multidimensional analytics, Sergey. Hello. Hello. <coughs> what you uh, uh, addition? What you adding for my speech? Well, yes, yes. Uh, I can add that uh, that uh, this possibility to uh, this system will give possibility to control of uh, every step and uh, uh, to have access to every uh, every paper uh, which uh, use in um, every step of project. Uh, and it's not uh, only um, online project, it's an offline project too, because uh, we buy something, we sell uh, something, and um, uh, investor can uh, analyze uh, all information uh, from the system with uh, business intelligence system with uh, business uh, and uh, analysis. Uh, in Udu. And uh, will these will these you know transactions are they recorded on the the blockchain in any way? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, in in the, the transaction in every transaction uh, will record in Waves uh, platform uh, blockchain, but this is uh, this is only. Uh, this is an important part. So only hash of this uh, transaction, but real paper, real document, uh, it's uh, it uh, saves uh, in uh, our big uh, chain database. Oh, and oh, okay. synch and synch synchronize with uh, uh, different uh, Odoo instance. Uh, so, so uh, I can summarize. So, uh, Odoo as a real ERP system uh, write transaction to uh, each own uh, Postgre uh, database. It's fast, it's very cool, uh, very great uh, information. Uh, but to connect to Odoo service that maybe stay in different countries, in different cities, on different continents, we use a big chain DB. Big chain database uh, by uh, Trent uh, McConaughey. Uh, it's a really great, great man in blockchain tool. Uh, and uh, any transaction uh, right in this the big chain DB. But uh, to uh, to make uh, Albo table, just table, consistent table accounting, uh, the hash, the signature. Uh, of any transaction we put to blockchain. Blockchain now used uh, Waves because it's very simple, uh, very good systems and very, 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 very uh, clear for understanding systems. Uh, waves cool. has very cheap transaction, so I, I advertise Sasha Ivanov, we like Waves. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so you mentioned smart contracts. How, what platform is that going to work on? Uh, we don't know. No, we don't use uh, really smart contracts uh, this time, but we plan to use Ethereum smart contracts to make uh, more and uh, more, 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 more semantized, more semantized, more semantic, more semantic smart contracts. Uh, so when we start investigation about the system, uh, I discussed with Vitalik uh, when he, he, he was in Moscow, and uh, I understand that uh, when in smart contracts uh, just one or two test items, test cell phones uh, goes, uh, no problems with understanding of uh, what it uh, really for mean. But if we uh, push into blockchain, into smart contracts, uh, several hundreds of positions of different goods or services, uh, <laughs> it's very big problem. Uh, and, and it isn't uh, deciding right now. Uh, we need uh, more semantized information about type of product, about any uh, properties of this product, uh, such as color, uh, weight, uh, height, width, uh, to computers can 
talk to each together and uh, decide what really products come from one company to another. Because one man can uh, write in his um, database cell phone, uh, cell phone, cell phone, so cell phone, Apple, uh, iPhone. Another man can uh, write iPhone uh, smartphone. It was same uh, items, same products, but uh, computers can understand what of uh, whatever of of this. So we need the next step of our system uh, after ICO to start in development uh, new. Uh, paradigm of uh, smart contracts uh, that calls semantic, semantic smart contracts was really semantic smart contracts or good world. <laughs> okay, uh, let, let's talk about the token. What, what is the supply of the token? Uh, I, I understand the algorithm will be uh, on the Waves platform. Yes. Uh, so, so how many, what is the supply that, that you plan on having for the token? Uh, we issue uh, 84 million uh, tokens because it's uh, uh, four parts by 21 million like Bitcoin and two uh, multiply 42 million because 42 is the answer of all questions. Uh, uh, really we issue uh, 48 million tokens on various platform. They are not reissuable. Uh, and uh, so we plan to sublate uh, by uh, spending this as gas. Uh, need to. Okay. Uh, All right. No, that's fine. Uh, it's it's a it's a it's a decent amount. It's it's a lot. You know, supply supply only. You know, it doesn't really say too much about the price. Uh, it, it's really just the amount of distribution. You know, you could that you could expand on. I mean, if the if the supply is low or high, it doesn't matter because the price will always be what you know the coin is worth. Although in Token Summit, they they notice the trend with really large supplies and and prices being a little higher. Uh, but uh, you know, let's let's get down to these other questions I have. So, do you have an MVP or something that people could test out? Sergey, would you answer? Yeah, so something people could test, like a beta okay, that you know people okay, could test. Okay, okay, uh, we have ready to <laughs> test an MVP. Uh, really, it was in our GitHub. Uh, GitHub is on all websites. Uh, everybody who can install Docker can download Docker images uh, and uh, build each, uh, build our dark chain system on their computer and try to put several transactions from one server to another uh, to really it not mainnet of waves now we use test net of waves and it really works uh, we test it in our computers yes we have a mini okay game. and uh, i uh, created a virtual virtual machine that uh, uh, it um, that have has uh, everything uh, what uh, needed for this uh, development environment platform for this uh, project and uh, everybody can test this uh, and uh, today I uh, I plan to uh, put this in GitHub. And uh, we has uh, we we have uh, Docker's, uh, and uh, everybody can build this system in local computer without problem too. Very good. Always good to have something tangible for people, especially investors, because uh, you know I, I personally would like to have a toy when I invest in something uh, to play with. So that's great. That's good. Uh, if if yet. Uh, so let's see here i have a few more questions for you is this uh this erp uh, odoo is this uh going to be used in any descent you know is it decentralized or is it like a centralized solution uh, so game i mean i mean the information that's stored on this erp is it going to be held in you know like where, where is it going to be located 
you know, because that's important information, right? I mean, do the people have to come up with it themselves, the storage? Or do they have to, uh, or, or do you have a solution for that? You know, and it, is the solution centralized? That would be great too. Like Filecoin has a nice solution for for storage. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so, every, okay. What, who, who will speak? Uh, you, you, every you. System, yeah, yes, okay. Uh, every system has uh, personal storage, uh, this uh, post-grade SQL database, and you can uh, uh, you can have this storage uh, storage in dedicated server or maybe uh, virtual machine instance uh, in Amazon or Google Cloud, uh, and uh, <coughs> the information about the transaction of uh, uh, loaders, accounting information, and uh, substance, something like that. Uh, the, will be stored uh, in big block, uh, build block chain, and uh, the part information uh, will be stored uh, in local uh, uh, computer and uh, other uh, in uh, in other different uh, nodes uh, of this uh, blockchain. It's something like a bit, bit Bitcoin waves. Uh, we have. Uh, Huge nodes, and every node ha has uh, mm, this uh, information. Uh, because it's not all the database; it's only it's, it's only JSON format file uh, with uh, essential information from uh, um, business uh, transaction document from sale order, for example. We have uh, we we have every need. Uh, Information it's uh, it's text format and it, uh, it 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 doesn't eat very very many disk space or something like that. Okay, very good. I, I it's actually the answer I was looking for. We have a little bit of a language barrier, but that sounded great because I was looking for you to say blockchain that it's not just stored on a database, but you know transactions are stored on a blockchain because you know in the future databases are blockchains the blockchain could be a yes, replacement yes, really. for, for database so so yes good good job very nice that's exactly what i was expecting uh, i was you know it was it was a little bit of a trick question but you, you did great uh so the transparency uh will you guys be using your own system for your ico <laughs> was... <laughs> of course we <laughs> agreed for it Rip. This is the transparency part. So, uh, you know, will we'll be will people be after they invest in Darf Chain? Uh, will they be able to, you know, you see where their investments go? Like, what will they be able to see on on your platform? So, uh, really, uh, we uh, focused all on transparency. Transparency, uh, you're right, and we we try to make a system uh, like uh, people's. Uh, it's on uh, close uh, tables. Uh, uh, just a moment. Uh, add join tables. Uh, so every information that uh, input from uh, one node uh, in uh, ERP system uh, should be uh, showed, uh, uh, can be showed on another node. And uh, uh, we dreams that will be uh, an ICO uh, projectors, uh, projects and uh, will be an ICO auditors. Uh, so the, men's, the man or woman uh, can uh, analyze the work of ICO project and say to uh, investors, to ICO investors, uh, that the good work or that that the guys in product box is not very efficiently. All right. Uh, how do you? This this is uh, actually um, not just my question. We have some questions waiting for you at the end of the show from uh, you know people on Slack, but uh, it it coincides with my question also. How how do you guys plan to market and educate the public about your product? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, last words, uh, last noise. Uh, how do you plan on marketing your product? Uh, so we have uh, 
several uh, target audience. Uh, now we discussed an integration of our project in a CS trading pro pro project. Uh, maybe did you know these guys want to build uh, towns in the CS? Uh, that project founded by Peter T. Patrick Friedman in 2008. We, uh, their ambassador Igor Rizhikov is our advisor and they prepared ICO2 maybe in waves really. Uh, so, uh, so, second uh, audience, uh, no, so, so we uh, understand that first step and uh, is ICO controlling. Uh, second step is uh, grid communities like CS staging or maybe Venus project by Jacques Fresco. We discuss with their activists. Uh, Daniel Dashkevich is activist of Venus project and in is in our team. Uh, so we think that the uh, communities uh, that discuss about martial economy, about new uh, economy like a tokenomy, uh, can use our system in their projects. Uh, and maybe uh, in future in uh, African or Latin, Latin America's uh, cities, uh, maybe towns, maybe villages uh, <laughs> on, on every smartphone, on every computer. Okay, uh, okay. It was a, it, don't worry. Hey, listen, if, if you guys need marketing and promoting uh, for the niche, you know, this, this niche, crypto, uh, you could go to coregroup.info. And we'd be more than happy to assist you with that. If you if you don't have a plan yet, uh, we can help you structure a nice plan for yourself. Uh, not not a big deal. I just wanted to see how you're going to educate your public because you know it's very important to educate people on your project because crypto is complicated. You know, for most normal people, you know, people don't even understand Bitcoin yet. You know, so getting into these sub projects, you know. They, it's it's a lot you know it's a it's a big learning curve for a lot of people so you, you know, the yes, education yes, needs to be there yes, uh, we understand it so we, we went over your knowledge and skills you guys have developers graphic designers uh sergey i have no doubt that he is a developer from what i see he's using, using linux uh mm -hmm. so i i have no doubt about that so that sounds great um you know, there's a language barrier, but I'm more than positive that you guys know what your, you know, what, what your jobs are and, uh, how, you know, the, the love of what you do, right? The, the, you got, he, Sergey, just, just the fact that he uses Linux, I, I already know he's a developer because it's, yes, yes, yes. it's really, we use Python. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, but you know, it, it, if, if he said he was using Windows, I, I'd start questioning him. So, uh, yeah, and Python is an old language. It goes back a long way. Uh, so, community and participation. Let's get to this category. Uh, will you be participating in the Waves community token? Will you be, be you know, be giving out it, it, any it is, any coins to the Waves uh, community tokens? Because I know is, I got enough. Uh, that gets me excited every time. I, I, so, 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 sorry, uh, what do you mean? You know the Waves community token. Will you guys be distributing your coin through the Waves community token? Yes, we plan, but we don't uh, think about very deep. Well, think about this: everybody that has Waves has Waves community token. So when you distribute mm -hmm. your token, maybe a small percentage through the Waves community token, you're you're reaching. It's it's a great marketing tactic because you're reaching everybody that has Waves, which in, oh, in it's a good idea. Thank you. We we don't think about it. Mm. We, you good. So thank you. Thank you. You could contact MX in uh, MX, I believe. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if Sasha is around. I've been trying to contact him lately. He's he's probably so busy. Uh, contact MX and ask him. You know about it, about okay. participating Thank you. Oh, very great <laughs> because it's you know the everyone who has this token world Co waves community token is is basically your customers uh, because they all use waves uh, oh, we are very keen in our project uh, we are very close we are focused on on our goal 
Uh, so thank you for the idea. Okay, cool. Uh, so in, in the future, we'll we'll do a, we'll participate in a live AMA. At the moment, we do have a few questions from the crowd. Uh, there's only about three or four, from what I see here. Let me just go up a little bit. Uh, where can okay. I question? Oh, it's on ICO discussions in Slack, and uh, and ICO there's discussions. and there's some inside my Slack, uh, the core group Slack. Uh, okay. So I th I, I'll ask it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to look for it. Uh, so what's what's their connection to Sasha? At least in regards to the tweet Sasha posted earlier. So how are you guys connected with Sasha? Uh, yes, we connected with Sasha. Uh, Sasha give uh, us a great help. Uh, he consult us, he uh, push us in the right direction, uh, he give us uh, several great ideas about our product. Uh, so <laughs> really, Sasha is a very great man, and uh, we meet, uh, I meet uh, uh, him at the 214, uh, at the hackathon about uh, blockchain, one of the first hackathons in Russia, and uh, after this, uh, we made uh, papers, so we keep in touch, keep in contact, and Sasha is very open, uh, very clear, clear uh, man, I, I see. We, uh, okay. He, he, very, he gave us very, very good help, really. What is meant by tokenomy? <laughs> tokenomy. <laughs> oh, the, the, the tokenomy. Uh, these words I uh, always get from Sasha too, but we are uh, and interpret interpret it in another uh, sense. Uh, so well, let's imagine uh, let's imagine the world like uh, John uh, sings uh, many years ago, uh, where we did we don't need money. Uh, uh, really interesting. Uh, so, really, maybe a cafe, uh, a cafe, uh, and uh, ca cafe needs to buy cookies from bakery. But uh, we have no any classic money, and uh, cafe issue a token, cafe token, uh, and owner of ca cafe. Uh, programs uh, his cafe bot uh, to place warrants for sale cafe tokens and search for orders uh, for sale of cookie token. So the baker uh, on the same street in the same town or village, uh, he uh, sells cookies uh, and uh, we have no money. Uh, he, he wants to pay uh, the four uh, with his tokens, uh, bakery tokens, and he uh, go to exchange to Waves Exchange, <laughs> Dex, and program uh, the bakery bot to start placing orders for the sales of the bakery tokens and look for the mirror uh, do same way and uh, he uh, sell for flour and need to buy grain uh, for his meal tokens, he, and he program his mirror bot too to place meal tokens and seek for grain tokens. So a farm who sells the grain and uh, looking where can he go in the evening uh, uh, with his uh, wife, with his ch ch children, and he buy a cafe tokens. Uh, so we can look that economy of local communities uh, does not need uh, a lot of uh, fiat or classic money. Uh, so this type of economy we call tokenomy. It's an economy based. Uh, it's an, an economic economical system based on uh, individual or corporate tokens emission and uh, its exchange. So it's uh, a uh, theory that developed uh, me and my partner Konstantin Bakulev, and maybe it. Uh, very cool, very cool. Yeah, and I, I could I could definitely picture a world that with using just tokens, De definitely. I mean, at at one point in time, money was seashells, you know. 
Money, okay. money, money is bartering, you know. So instead of having the actual product, you have a token that represents it, and the whole economy, you know, exchanges their tokens with other tokens like bartering. Uh, so yeah, I understand completely. That's great. Uh, yes, that, that's a <laughs> that that's a, a you know who who knows in the future it might all be tokens. You might be right. Uh, you know, it, it's it's like you know Microsoft using their stock to tr you know. <laughs> To trade instead of you know dollar bills, so and it, it's worth more technically instead of the you know fiat, which is worth nothing as they print more. Uh, so uh, very cool. Uh, that's uh, we we have a couple more questions here. Let me see which one am I going to go to next. Have have you guys linked any deal with a major Russian company to implement their blockchain based ERP model? Mm, yes, we find for it. Uh, but not only Russian, uh, we have uh, interest from Brazilian company uh, and uh, really we discuss with Russian farmers, maybe you know about Kolyonova, uh, uh, it's uh, Mikhail Shlapnikov, uh, first farmer in the world that uh, issue our own cryptocurrency uh, to implement this system in uh, for farm to so, but uh, m maybe market is more wider, uh, and our uh, representative Michael Irmak uh, from Pitney Bowers uh, in Canada, uh, he said that uh, such open source ERP system can be used not only in farms, on in the cooperatives, but in the medium-sized business too. And the problem of uh, uh, tokens exchange uh, to uh, Borch uh, uh, money transfers may be actual in medium business too. Okay, very cool. I'm going to ask one more question, even though there are a few. I'm going to just going to try to find the best one here because this is not an AMA. This is a judgment show. So mm -hmm. all the questions okay. I've asked are here so that people could make their own opinions, formulate their own opinions about, you know, if you guys are real, if you guys are strong with your idea in this thing so that that's what a judgment show is about so i just asked the questions uh and everybody formulates their own opinion and and judges for themselves basically so uh, so but uh, i'll ask one more question uh he is this guy is saying are there a lot of laws you need to follow when doing this type of stuff sorry 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 i don't understand these questions really in text too <laughs> Oh, uh, so uh, so basically, he's asking. I think uh, is are there any laws that that are you know maybe will stop you uh, from doing what you have to do and anything regarding government? Maybe I don't. Know. That's you know if, if you want me to repeat the question. Are there a lot of laws you need to follow when okay, doing okay, this type okay, of stuff? Okay. I I I think that I understand. Uh, so so there are two answers. Uh, the simple and the difficult. <laughs> so the first uh, answer is difficult and really uh, that the to token, uh, that the changing from mine to token is uh, need agreed changes in the economy. And uh, maybe it's just our dreams. Uh, we, uh, we are dreamers uh, and we are far from the ground. Uh, but, but, really, uh, when we uh, analyze the low, laws of uh, some countries, Russia, uh, Latin America countries, we find the cooperatives, or co co cooperations, forms of business. So when uh, every uh, share of business is not j just um, a stop, 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 uh, to just take, uh, but it need to every uh, every man in business uh, good work for business uh, cooperatives, and we discuss with different lawyers that if we can associate token with a cooperative share or pi, uh, it's really in law, no laws changed, no needs for changes any law, just in uh, every cooperative we just uh, issue an order that uh, every pie means digital token and no problem 
Hey, very cool. All right, guys. Uh, we, we're, we're, we're touching on an hour now. Uh, you guys did a good, a good job. I, I could say that. Uh, Thank you. Guys, you. you I, 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 I will Thank be you. putting a small amount myself in it because I believe this went well. I know you guys have a little difficult with English, uh, you know, yes, so yes. it's it's a little hard to get the idea across, and it's that's okay because I, I, I think we could feel that <laughs> that, that you guys have an idea, you guys have a, a platform that you're going to use. Uh, you you have the software that you you know you're gonna use. Uh, you have Sasha's help, which is one of the main main things you do need. Uh, you know, but because implementing information on a blockchain, you're gonna need those developers to help you do that. Uh, so you know that's that's always a thank good you. thing. Uh, so I I wish you guys the best of luck and thank you for joining us on the Judgment Show. It shows that you have big balls, balls of steel. Thank you. Thank you. Because right, yeah, if you don't if you don't come on the judgment show and have me ask you questions, then I mean, you know it's it's it scares me. You know I, I'm not sure if I would invest, but you guys came on. Congratulations, you did a great job. Uh, I, I I love you guys and uh, everybody <laughs> listening. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we have uh, I have four or five more judgment shows uh, coming uh, within the next couple weeks. Uh, I'll, uh, if you want, direct message me and I'll tell you. But you know, normally I don't announce it live until a few minutes before. You could catch the the, the shows on my SoundCloud. Uh, you could also catch, go to Core Group, uh, Core Media Info, and you'll you'll be able to see uh, my SoundCloud from there. There's a link there to the SoundCloud for Core Radio, Crypto Core Radio. So, all right, fellas, uh, thanks for joining us today. Love you all. This is Lute signing out. Supernet aims to give people their power back through technology by no longer needing to rely on third parties such as exchanges, banks and services, giving you privacy at the same time. Supernet Technologies is the most anonymous technology being worked on currently, with a team of developers working diligently daily. Supernet aspires to be a creative, innovative, state-of-the-art solutions provider, which provides individuals opportunity, personal satisfaction and value. You can find out more at www.supernet.org and join our Slack with over 2,500 people.